if I'm really invested in creating art, I'm in a very transcendent space in that time and space seems to just fall away and I'm totally like in the zone of making the art, not thinking about much. Like, I, when I see a empty space, I want to fill it in. My name is John Sarkin, and I'm an artist. I was a chiropractor, and I incurred a stroke. And uh, the stroke led me to disengage from chiropractic, and I became an artist. My work is very stream of consciousness driven. I'm not a guy who draws pictures of lighthouses after lighthouse after lighthouse after lighthouse. I don't do that. It's a stream of consciousness. So it's a stream. It's all connected. It's all water, but it looks real different each time. I think I make art because it's just part of my brain that says make art. It's that simple. Looking into the motivation of, for why I make art seems counterproductive. It's like I just make art, you know, like thinking about why I do it is a waste of time, really. I find that if I'm not drawing, I start thinking about stuff. And that usually leads me down a road where I don't want to be. And I realize the only way off that road that I don't want to be is to start drawing again. So that's why I'm so driven by what I do. I think most people seem to be on the kiddie roller coaster in life. I'm on the big boy roller coaster. I try to portray being on that roller coaster in my artwork. I try to stay away from manifesting the roller coaster when you're at the bottom of the roller coaster. I don't really enjoy investigating uh, that space. It's all about doing it, you know, meaning is just like, I don't know, I don't know. It's other people's job to find meaning in the artwork, you know. I don't know if it's enjoyable because I do it so much. Is breathing enjoyable? It's sort of like, yeah, in a way it's satisfying, it's rewarding. Is breathing enjoyable? I don't know. I guess I could live in that I'd be alive, uh, but it would not be a rewarding and satisfying existence without art for me.